Namaste and crystal blessings to my earthly celestial and elemental soul tribe in this realm and beyond. Nikki is back today for a new review from this beautiful positive astrology cards by Crystal Savoy. And um, yes, I haven't done a, a real unboxing, so it is like... Uh, and plasticking actually I've already taken it out from you know the main package and the only um, first unboxing I did was uh, from my first Oracle deck which is uh, Beyond Lemuria uh, by Easy Ivy and the rest I've already you know unboxed it and used it and cleanse it before I did the video so finally I'm going to unplastic it this time It's kind of glossy now with the plastic. Let's do it together. This deck has been there for some time now, a few years. I don't know when was uh, exactly when was the first publication or if they had m multiple publications later. But you don't find many um, reviews online for this for some reason. Because I think this is a awesome deck for beginners and also for the advanced um, astrologers. Just for the fun of it, if you like colors, especially for beginners like me, if you find it's a bit uh, difficult or you know boring to uh, learn about astrological signs, you know symbols about uh, planets and uh, you know moon signs and stuff like that so this will excite you especially if you like colors like me it's beautifully color coded okay before i start rambling let me just take off that plastic seal hmm. this box is slightly like um my goddess card from a uh, deck. Not so much, but it has a texture. Like the um, Goddess Dream by Wendy Andrew. Nice box. So here it says, Enhancing your life through astrology in positive ways. 73 card deck and guidebook. Okay, now it's not glossy. So I've taken the seal. Beautiful box. And I had this for a few months now, since last year, on my wish list because this one is quite on the um, pricier side, okay? I usually get my decks from uh, Book Depository from UK because I'm in Sweden. And uh, after Brexit, end of last year, there was some problem. They stopped uh, deliveries to uh, EU and the prices were... On the rise, you know, they changed the prices. Even before they changed the prices, this was quite on the pricier side. And I have a budget, <laughs> you know, because I don't buy Oracle cards just to uh, do flip through videos like most of, you know, the YouTubers. I use it to connect and to work with it. And, um, and my channel, as you know, <laughs> I don't have big followers and it's not monetized. So... I get only things that I feel, you know, that I want to explore. Stuff that I never had, uh, you know, before, like astrology deck, I don't have. I also ordered a tarot deck recently because I would like to start working with it. And um, yeah, it's more like a connection. I need to feel it, you know, the attraction, the connection and um, the call. For it so yeah since last year I had my eye on this deck so finally I found this from a local seller I know it's a new deck from a local distributor in Sweden and for a very much cheaper price so much cheaper like 50% almost not really 50 um, maybe 30 35% less so this is the back of the box. The positive astrology cards unlock the ancient wisdom of the stars 
For beginners or experienced astrologers, the detailed guidebook and gorgeous 73 card deck assists you in understanding your personality and knowing how to best utilize the qualities of the zodiac's daily and monthly cycles for abundance and success. Learn to give readings with a positive approach to enrich the lives of yourself and others. Because I've also went into um, the um, website on Crystal Savoy and, you know, she says that, yes, she wants to make this deck as positive as, you know, as possible because our mind is a powerful tool. It believes everything we feed it, okay? So if there's a lot of positivity, it's not that we don't face negativity. It's part of our lives, okay, to embrace both the light and darkness. It has to be balanced, but like for uh, daily affirmations and, uh, you know, a tarot deck, something that um, we can work with to give us that um, awesome energy, so to speak. So it's good to have a positive deck. I mean, I like not too fluffy, but I love colors and I, because it makes me feel good. It may not apply to everyone, okay? It is very individualistic. No one is the same when it comes to their toys and preferences. So this is very unique. If it calls out to you and you really like it, you kind of attracted to it and feel like, yes, I want to try to. Because strangely enough, there's not many reviews on this awesome deck. So it has 12 zodiac sign, uh, sun signs, 12 zodiac moon signs, 12 zodiac ascendant signs, 10 planets, 12 house system, 10 further astrology, 5 guide cards, and 1 guidebook. And this is from Germany. It's made in Germany by AGM Urania. So yeah, this is the back. You can see it. Look, it's because this all color coded is just so awesome. If you know my video, you know me and colors. And this is this side of the cards. So celestial, isn't it? Oh, I love the color plays. And yes, a full circle. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I've seen uh, maybe two or three videos on this that that's uh, available. So, it's just plain white inside the box, but it's very sturdy. As you can see, a little cute guidebook. Oh, the card is uh, flipped. <laughs> colored oh I just moved my um see now you can see the reflection of the Sun so I need to because the Sun is moving <laughs> this is the front page yeah it is colored you know and now we'll go through the guidebook with you let's see the card this card is a bit not really bent but the edge so yeah it has a little compartment like that where you can put your cards or some people that I know don't like this you know they just take it off and place it in a pouch or just let it loose it's up to you Okay, we'll just put this aside and let it send. Hmm, you can see it. See, it came slightly bent. So it is not a thicker of cards that you can say, but it's, it's decent cardstock, you know. So it's very bendy for those who... Um, let me see, can I... I still have problems. I've seen cards bigger than this, you know. When I receive it and I go like, oh my gosh, I can't extend my... But I see people shuffling, you know, so maybe they have longer fingers. 
This one is okay, I guess, yes. So this is a bit bendy. Because it came a little bit off from the plastic seal. Okay. So first, this is how you see it from the side. Just hold a second. Let me see if I can try to cover the baby sun from reflecting. Oh, okay, now the reflection is here. Oh, it's very sunny. It was snowy two days ago. It was like, oh, it's beginning to look like Christmas again. But now it's, you know, the, the, the weather just changes here. So for the whole entire of April, it will be snowing just a little bit, you know. And yesterday I really wanted to wet, wear my trench coat and, you know, had an appointment in town. I wore it anyway. It was snowing. And people go like, she's wearing a trench coat? <laughs> Okay. Hope the lighting is good. So you have the first card. Sun sign, yeah. Just the pos uh, positive astrology cards, enhancing your life through astrology in positive ways, just like written in the box on the box all about your natal chart understanding general astrology connecting to your intuition just for fun created designed and written by crystal Savard. oh copyright 2017 so i think that's the publication date the year 2017 so this this is the first card that you will get and you see this is how it's color coded it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different color coding. Okay, so we will get into the first. Let's see. So this would be the sun signs. Oh, beautiful. I just love the colors. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me just give you an example. This is Aries, which is my zodiac sign. I'm actually a cusp. Pisces, Aries. So, the front of the card and the back of the card. So, you have all the description. I'm sorry because I know I cannot maybe this yes you can probably focus so then you have uh, element fire planet Mars house first quality cardinal then you have the anatomy uh, face head hair then you have uh, the qualities you know the characteristics active ambitious energetic optimistic Courageous, honest, driven, spontaneous. The symbol, the ram, masculine. Okay, we're here. <clears throat> and it says, your core representation as Aries is leadership, independence, enterprise, and energetic action. You live in the present rather than in the past or future. You are always ready for new and thrilling adventures. And we have new moon in Aries coming up today. Uh, that will be about 4 o'clock, 4-ish in the morning, Swedish time for new moon Aries. So powerful time indeed because we have both the sun and moon signs in Aries. I think I will do uh, another video for that. <laughs> for this is just the flip through. So I'm just giving you an example of just one card for this Aries, okay? So your essence is optimistic, enthusiasm, and vigorous power, which provides you with great motivation. Your talents are assertiveness and a talkative nature. Mm, you may have realized that. Stop rambling. 
It's written in the stars. I'm sorry. You can be a generous friend. You often make quick decisions. This trait may assist you in achieving your many goals and dreams. You are dynamically driven to keep moving ahead to create prosperity. Okay, this is just an example for this Aries card. Okay, then I'll just um, flip through Taurus. It's the same actually, it's just uh, same color coding for all the sun signs. All right. Because it'll take a very long video if I'm going to read each card. So 73 cards altogether. Not that I preferably uh, read Aries <laughs> because I'm an Arian, but well, that's the first card. First house. So for intention setting, manifestation, and all that as we always practice during New Moon, this is time to tap into, especially New Moon and Aries. Okay, the last one is Pisces. So that is the sun sign. Okay, now we jump into the moon sign. Very bendy. So moon sign is, of course, the first card. Aries. This is how it looks like. Oh, look at that beautiful illustration of the moon. Okay, and uh, the back. So as the moon sign in Aries, you have, of course, same as the element, fire, quality, cardinal, ram, masculine, excuse me, adventurous, active, energetic, comp competitive. So it's the same. No, not really. Different. Okay, so this is adventurous, active, energetic, competitive, Confident, motivated, idealistic, spontaneous for the moon sign in Aries. But my moon sign is um, Capricorn. Okay, so I don't share the same moon sign as my sun sign. My moon sign is Capricorn. So, and anatomy is face, head, hair, same as sun sign. So qualities of Aries moon are energy, optimism, confidence, decide and decisiveness. You think impulsively and take instantaneous action to achieve goals that are important to you. Your energy is always on go. You perform well under pressure and are willing to take chances to see what is possible. You are strong-willed, ambitious, resilient, enterprising and can be successful in business matters. This is Aries moon. Your thoughts are idealistic and constructive. You live with passion and your positive leadership qualities inspire courage in others to pursue their own goals with hope and confidence. Okay, this is Aries Moon, just an example of reading. So as you go on, Taurus and the rest of the cards, the Gemini. It's the same, of course. So I'll just go quite fast. <laughs> Daddy Sun is still moving. You can see the reflection. We'll go deeper. Scorpio. Sagittarius. Capricorn. Aquarius. The age of Aquarius. And Pisces. And now we come to the ascendant sign. Okay, I am Leo ascendant. Okay. Sending in Leo, my sign. So I have Aries, Leo, Capricorn. Quite tough. And also cusp, a Pisces cusp. So, so I will also read. Uh, Ascendant in because since it's the first one, I will read this as an example for ascendant in Aries and the back of the card. Let's 
so sorry if it doesn't focus. Hope to get a new gadget soon. And the element, of course, fire. It's the same, the planet Mars, house first, quality cardinal, ram masculine. Anatomy is also the same for all sun sign, moon sign, and Aries ascendant, face, head, and uh, hair. And the quality is ambitious, honest, lively, adventurous. Okay, this one changes a little. Energetic, confident, committed, enthusiastic. So your Aries ascendant personality is dynamic, okay, dynamic, ambitious and enterprising. You want to do your best at all times, so nothing stops you from accomplishing your goals. You are ingenious with a pioneering spirit and allowing you to take quick action and start new pursuits. Your outward demeanor is high energy and active. Your impulsivity is precisely what generates your success. Your confidence and self-assurance is expressed through the way you carry yourself. Your purpose is mastery and leadership. So your drive and passion to achieve may be motivating to others. This is for Aries Ascendant. So this is the color code for Ascendant sign. So we flip through fast. Taurus. Oops. Actually, I don't have to because it looks the same anyway, but it's nice to just complete the cycle, showing all the cards. Just very quickly, because it's the same. Last but not least, oops, Pisces. And now we come to the planet cards. One of my favorite colors, turquoise. Let's see. Okay, you have to get the planets, then it's different. But I will read um, for the first card, which is the sun. which I don't really call them planets, I call them luminaries or wandering stars because that's what they really are actually, not what science tells us, but that's another story altogether. So this is the back of it, how it's, um, the description goes for the sun. So the sun is the primary ruler of Leo, the generator. We have the qualities, potential, radiance, power, personality, essence, vitality. Okay, the sun represents individuality, charisma, and the radiance of your personality. So it seeks balance and harmony within your mind, body, and soul. The sun's energy gives you life and the rules who you are physically, mentally, and emotionally. It is the conductor of your spirit, your soul's inner flame. Like, it is so sunny today. It's been so long. I need daddy solar energy. You know, it, we all need it. It's so essential. It is the conductor of your spirit, your soul's inner flame. It is loyal and dedicated, always shining within you, no matter how you feel. And the sun's insight, the sun's insight provides courage to fuel your confidence in what you love and care about, and guides you in improving your life, appreciating uh, appreciating your sun self sets the stage to manifest all your ambitious sorry ambitions and aspirations okay so that is for the sun and uh, then you have the moon I would love to do a longer video on this and to show you know a real close up and maybe do when you close it up this way and you can really see it but because mine is not going to focus well I'll definitely do because I love this deck so this is the moon then you have Mercury 
Venus, Mars, yeah. rule of planet of Aries, Fury, Jupiter, Saturn, Jupiter, Saturn conjunction. So this is since the powerful conjunction that we had last year. Uh, since the winter solstice, this is a very powerful new moon in Aries indeed. Because this is, yeah, from the last 200 years for um, Jupiter, Saturn, this is the first new moon in Aries for that gateway, so to speak. Uranus. Neptune and Pluto. Poor Pluto, you know. So suddenly they say it's a planet, then it says it's just a wandering rock and all that. But for, for me, like I said, it's they are all wandering stars, luminaries. Okay, that's what has been told by the ancient astronomers. They know more because they study without technology, the interference of electronic technology, so to speak. Theirs were spirit signs, more observation, going inward, you know, spirituality, connecting to nature and this, you know, the celestial realm. So it's different in how now everything is digi digitalized and, you know, computerized with all our gadgets. So, yeah, you get the data, you know, differently and start putting it out in a different way. Um, essence of knowledge so for me it is the wandering stars okay the next group is the house system also one of my favorite is like purplish magenta purple waters yes so house system first of course until you have 12th house system so i will read the first house system which is identity individuality yeah it looks more magenta on the screen it's not so bright actually it's not that magenta when you see it live but camera resolution so this is the back of the first house You have ruled by Aries, then identity is born. Keywords, the house of self, the first house. Temperament, style, personality. Then you have interests, behaviors, mannerisms. Okay, and you have a little zodiac clock there. The house of self. So the first house represents the outward pre uh, presentation of your characteristics, behaviors, and disposition. The first house is where the ascendant lies. The zodiac sign that is placed in the first house represents your unique personality traits. It symbolizes that you, uh, what you want out of life and how you go about attracting your desires. The path, the path identifies how people see you. It generates your individual level of confidence and sufficiency, and can be self-serving. Its energy is intended. For personal gain and the improvement of your well-being okay the first house is your zodiac so i'll just go through quickly the first house is the house of self indiv identity individuality and the second house system is values assets and possessions okay the house of values third house Communication, excur exc ex excursions, education. So the house of communication, third house. Fourth is roots, home, family, the house of home. Fifth is creativity, enjoyment, 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 the house of pleasures and creativity. Sixth is service, health, the house of health and service. 
The seventh is partnerships, relationships, commitments. The house of partnerships. Seventh house. The eighth is fate, fortune, destiny. The house of destiny. Because you have that. Behind here, the house of destiny. Ninth is education, philosophy, adventure. The house of philosophies. The ninth house. And then you have uh, the tenth. Tenth is the um, work status and public life. The house of work and public life. Tenth. And eleventh is wishes, friendships. The house of hopes and wishes. And the twelfth house is rebirth completion. You have the house of hardships. All right. So we have two more groups here, which is further astrology and symbols. Okay, we'll dive into further astrology now. Nice bright green. So you have trine, square, opposition, conjunction, sextile, chiron, notes, retrograde, midheaven, cusp. And I will read the trine that since it's the first one. This is the trine card. Major aspect. And the back of the trine. So it says trine aspect. Major aspect, the uh, relationship between several planets and the decrease, degrees apart from each other. So you have the um, key points or the uh, characteristics of trine aspect is um, triumph, ease, creativity, success, positivity, advantage. Okay, on both sides are those keywords. And uh, the degree here is 120 degrees. A trine is the most favorable and harmonious of all the major aspects in a natal chart. The connecting planets in a trine reinforce each other to represent specific areas in your life of ease and advantage. Your thoughts and actions in these areas bring success, with little effort to accomplish your goals and desires, a trine is also a source of creativity and expressive talents. Okay, that's how it reads for this. So I will just go and show you the square. That's the major aspects. Opposition. Beautiful colors. Conjunction, the one we just had, the major one, Saturn Jupiter, Sextile, Chiron, Notes, Retrograde, <laughs> yes. We all know some good old retrograde, especially Mercury. <laughs> Meet Heaven. Tenth house. Oh, Meet Heaven, it shows tenth house. Okay. And of course, cusp. Like me, can be a bit confusing. Being a little Piscean and a little Aries, you know, water, fire sign. A totally different personality, like Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> and the last group is symbols. You have zodiac, planets, houses, further astrology, elements, and qualities. So I think this one I can show you both. So this is for the zodiac. If all the zodiac symbols and the months. Okay. 
and for elements and qualities you have yeah, all the elements the qualities masculine and feminine you know masculine which is the air and fire signs feminine earth and water signs Things clear up and further astrology so you have Chiron cusp midheaven north and south nodes retrograde conjunction sextile square trine opposition like the previous uh, group and you know a description what they are A little briefing of the previous deck and this is houses of the two decks previous to this so you have all the houses and the meaning of the houses so this is just like a roundup of all the other decks and the symbols planets you have all those symbols and the meaning so this is just like a little abbreviation, an explanation of all the other cards, uh, all the other group that we went through. So it's quite a thick, 73 cards. And now like, let's look at the book. Okay, this is a little bit chipped. It's just, um, you know, it's not a hard cover or anything like that. Very light in paper. But it's crisp, uh, it is colored, so it's cool. So the table of contents has 75 pages altogether, including some ads behind there is uh, on page 70 you have uh, about the creator crystal Savoy and uh, 69 page 69 is acknowledgement so all together you have 67 pages think and not really because you have all this table of contents and all that so let's see so you, under the table of contents you have the introduction the introduction section which is what is astrology why positive astrology cards three sections of this guidebook which is the key symbols zodiac signs planets houses for the astrology then you have the card description color borders on cards sets in the deck that's the introduction then it jumps right through section one all about your natal chart what is a natal chart how do i find my natal chart what if i have no time of birth symbols in your natal chart understanding your natal chart and using your cards then you see find your zodiac uh, sun sign find your zodiac moon sign find your zodiac ascendant sign ways to use your cards then basic three card reading more advanced ways to use your cards two card reading using the planets three card reading adding uh, the houses to planets and sun signs okay then you have it uh, numbered the pages where you can find them then further astrology for uh, for advanced study using just the major aspects how to use the other cards in the further astrology set then you have section two understanding general astrology Five card reading, understanding the 12 zodiac signs, monthly zodiac sign, uh, sun sign readings, daily uh, zodiac moon sign readings, then forecasting events. Then you have section three, connecting to your intuition just for fun. Ask a question reading, present, past, future reading, wheel of life reading. Then you have acknowledgements then about the author, which is the last page. So it's cool. So you have yeah a little miniature version of the cards colored it's cool and they add a little color 
in these books. And you have, of course, the charts. It's cool because, yeah, I'm also a beginner and, you know, learning this. But sometimes when you go to sites and get those books, it could be sometimes heavy and, and a lot to absorb. So with this, you know, cards and colors and instruction, you know, it's fun to learn as you go along the way. It's all that that you can find on an astrology book or websites explaining and the color coding and the houses and you can you know it's not like the other decks that I have sometimes it comes with you know quite big books and you know quite not to say heavy but they're quite sturdy and bulky but this one is quite cute you can just put it in your pocket for men and us ladies you know handbags you know just and carry the cards with us this is the about the same size no exactly the same size with the pocketbook so it's yeah and just yeah slightly heavy because 73 cards this is you know if you want to just carry it with you in a pouch because with the guidebook you know it's kind of cute get all uh, placed together sometimes otherwise you know the books are you know sometimes bigger than the cards so yeah I really do hope you enjoyed this because I think more people should do a video on this uh, you know beautiful deck So thank you for joining with me. I'm excited as well to be learning uh, astrology finally with these cards and um, this beautiful deck and colors. So yes, enhancing your life through astrology in positive ways. Pistols, Savoy and uh, positive astrology cards. So thank you for joining with me and Wishing you, as always, the highest vibration of love wherever you are in Lakesh. Namaste.